Hello, hi. I just ranted about this topic on TikTok, but I'm actually really peeved about it and I want to discuss it. It might even end up being a video. Do you guys remember two years ago when IMG decided to hold the Miss Universe competition in Israel and how I released a video basically declaring them bankrupt of common sense for doing so? See, back then, it wasn't necessarily cool at the time to back the Palestinians, but you guys know me, I really don't care about much of anything in the form of ramifications, so I ran my mouth. But there was one specific country where I was like, why would you, of all people, send your delegate, your representative, to Israel? Because it makes no sense. Israel's an apartheid state. And South Africa was like, that's cool with us, we're gonna go. And I'm over here looking at these pageant queens who are like, I want to be a representative, I want to be a role model, I want to do important things. And I'm like, well, you know what? would be really be important especially for a south african delegate would to be i don't know standing up against apartheid and very clear violations of human rights you know and you would think the south africa of all people would understand but no no south africa did not understand up oh, up oh, up oh, until now because the south african government is pissed they are suing Israel. They are dragging Israel through the mud. They are bringing Israel to the Hague. They're going after them. Legitimately, the South African government is so mad at Israel. And I'm just like, could you imagine the press tour and the praise for the pageant queen who had stood up against Israel when the time came and now she would be heralded. She would be on a news media tour unlike anything the pageant world has ever seen had she actually gone and done the right thing. But nope, nope, nope. God forbid I hold pageant queens up to the standards that they ask for. Y'all really need to stop playing with me. I was caping for the Palestinians years ago, long before it was the thing to do. Like back when it would get you landed on an FBI watch list, I was doing it. I was talking about the COVID situation, like in December when we weren't allowed to talk about it on YouTube and it was getting our videos blocked. I was talking about George Floyd when it was getting my videos age restricted and demonetized. It has anything that I have ever done on social media given you the implications that I would care what you have to say or think about me doing what I see is right. And then you're going to tell me that you're unfollowing me. I just checked your page. You didn't. Do I need to help you?